Uh, hello, it's me again. Uh, today we're going to go over some tools you could use to build image data sets. Um, I kind of put them all together in my GitHub repo. So if you go there and uh, uh, clone or download all everything in the repo, uh, it should, should have all the stuff you need. So in this repo, we have some files. And uh, it contains uh, some tools to scrape images from the web tools to slice a video into frames, a tool to rename all images in a folder starting from one to like whatever, a tool to resize all images in a folder while keeping the aspect ratio, a tool to annotate images for a kitty image data set, and a tool to annotate images for a YOLO image data set. Now a lot of the stuff I have is you know not mine I've got it from other sources so I'd just like to thank everybody for that. Um, in the file, in the GitHub repo, we have like, there's an annotation tool. Um, these are just folders where we're going to store images. Another annotation tool. And um, this is the tools for image data set. This is the one we're going to use to scrape the web and, and modify our, our data set. So just clone or download this and put it someplace where you can get to it. So I went ahead and I started my Jupyter Notebook up in, in Anaconda. You see you got Anaconda running. And uh, you go here to this Jupyter Notebook. And then we'll start right here. So let's uh, restart this kernel. Okay, so you're going to need to download some things like uh, uh, where you need to download stuff. I kind of made note of that, like. Uh, 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 in iCrawler, in like the Google Image Downloader, OpenCV, and that kind of stuff. But you know, we'll we'll I'll show you what what we do. So we're gonna go scrape the images, scrape the web for some images. Um, we're gonna look for some boats. Let's look for some cars. Car. They'll be going into this folder right here. I want ten. And then there, uh, uh, we got a minimum size of uh, 200 by 200. And you can see it's doing its thing. Doesn't take that long because there's only 10. Okay, and then if we go over here, here's the folder. We made a folder called car. And there's some images of cars. Like make note of the, 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 the numbers because that'll come into play later. So we got some cars. Now uh, we go down to the next one. That one you can do that. And here's another scraping tool. This is the Google Downloader. You know we do that. Do that. And here let's look for some boats. So we want to look for boats. How about boat? And then we're going to get 10, and then we want the JPEG format, and this is where everything's going to go. So we do this, and then we actually go get them. So we're going to get them. And we're getting 10, so it shouldn't take that long. So we got them. So we go to, it's going to go into this downloads folder. There's a boat. So we got boats. We got ten boats. Okay, so we got cars and boats so far. Now, a lot of times that uh, you know, there's images that we need that basically the web doesn't do a good job uh, giving us. So uh, a lot of times I'll take a video and then I want to slice that video up so I can get like people's heads turning. You know, if you go like an image and you want to do like a 360 view of it. So a lot of times I'll do that with. Uh, 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 I'll take a video of it and then I'll slice out the images of the video. And that's what this one does. So in this one, uh, we're going to only run it for five seconds. It's only going to capture images for five seconds. It's going to start at frame zero. Um, it's going to only get every fourth image. And, you know, because I don't want too much. And then it stores it in a, a folder called data. So let's run that.
see, and you can see it slicing up the, the video. By the way, I'll show you what the video is. You guys that have a uh, uh, deep stream, you should recognize this video. Here's the video. Oh, I'm sure you guys recognize that one. So what we've done is we sliced images out of it. So we go to data, you know, these are the images we've sliced out of it. So, you know, a lot of images. Oh, so there you go. There's the images we took out of it. So, now, um, so we got images sliced out of video. We got images of a boat, a car, all kinds of stuff. So, first thing we do is we need to uh, get them all numbered in a sequence that we can use. So what we do is go here, we want to get them all and put them on a folder, select all. I'm going to copy them. Um, put it in the image out folder right here. Paste. And this will get the uh, cars and the boats. Sand in there, and it's just with the cars. Now, if you notice, we now we got a big old folder full of like sliced video some cars and some boats okay you see they're all different sizes and they all get different numbers on them i mean they're not all the same so the first thing we want to do is now you, you could you can either resize it first or you can put them in order so i'm just going to put them in number order first so this next one will go into this folder the image out folder we're in and it'll uh, uh change all the numbers to an, a sequence You see it is all the all the images are in a sequence now. So that's it. when we annotate it, we have to it has to be in a, a sequential order. Now, uh, if you look at this file, everything's different image, different sizes. You know, we just scraped it. We didn't. So, but we got all our sizes have to be the same if we want to uh, run them through our, our our data processing. So now, what we do is we're going to uh, resize all the images and uh, and then put them in order so right now 640 by 480 but you can like make this whatever you want 800 by 800 or uh, 1920 by whatever okay it all depends on how you want your final data set to be so I'm gonna do it at 640 by 480 it's gonna take all the images in here resize them and put them right back and uh, it'll say completed when it's done It's completed. Huh. And now if you notice all the images, they're all the, the same size now. So we'll just look at some of the images. Let's go here. They're all 640 by 480 now. Uh, they've had padding in them. So now the, all the images are the same. So now they can be annotated. So right so right now we have uh, we have our all our images. They're all in a numerical order. And they're all uh, uh, sized to the size we need. So we're pretty much done with this. Now we need to annotate them. So in the in the in the GitHub repo, there's two uh, annotating tools. Um, first, there's this one. This is the this one does the Kitty data sets. So we go to this, this, run. I'm going to put a link to uh, this, uh, the guy that did this, because he's got a video that shows pretty good. What, you, what you're going to get is you're going to get this right here. 
And what you do is you want to run the plugin, Alps labeling tool, and then you'll get this, and you'll get this. Well, it'll come over when I open up a picture. So uh, oh, on open an image. Okay, and then let's grab that. And so we're going to uh, go find that where my images are, data set tools, <clears throat> image out. So now we got images. So we're, let's do a let's do a car. So we're open that up. So that brings the car over. So once we get the car, um, we do this. We just basically uh, do a bounding box. Uh, add new. Call it a car. Push OK. Save. And it's going to save it into the same folder. You can save it wherever you want. Uh, where are we saving our labels? So hold on. Let's see. Okay, as you can see now, we've got uh, uh, the label associated with that image. Then you go to the next one if you want. Call this a car. Save it. Okay, and it saves it in there. And then we can go get a boat. Let's go get a boat. A boat. And then, you know, we can do this one. We can do boat. And then uh, we can do people. There's a person there. And then there's another person there. And then we save the label. It's, uh, it's there. Okay. Now, um, just to give you what uh, the label looks like, it looks like this. So on this one, we got a, a boat, a person, and a person. It's set up for the kitty data set. It's got 15 places. If you look, if you count this, there's actually 15 uh, positions. So that's what the kitty database needs. So, you know, you just do this all day. This takes a long time. You know, it's taken me like weeks to do some data sets. And then, so that that's this one. Now we're going to uh, use the annotator that's for like uh, a YOLO data set. This is more for like kitty. Close this out, close this out. If you go to this one right here, let's go back. And all this is in the, the, the GitHub repo. Okay. And this is what this one looks like. Let's kind of shorten it up a little here. And uh, let's see. So in this one, we're going to open up a directory here. You can open up single ones. We'll open up a directory because we just want to like go through all the images. So we got to open the directory. Um, we want it to be where we're working, data set tools, image out. And we're going to open the directory. Now, you, we can go through the directory, you know, that, 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 that. So we can go, like, like, let's go back to this one. Let's compare this to the one we did before. So in this one, um, you want to create rec box, like I say, and then we're going to save this as the, the Pascal, the YOLO format, and I had to, I'm going to change that. Um, I like to do save it as that. That's the one I use. And then uh, let's see, we're going to another create a rec box, some people, that's a person. So that's good. 
okay and that, what's nice about this one is, is if we're going to do a lot of purse people we can just default it to person so now we go I'm going to create a rec box defaults to person create a rec box defaults to person so I like that's what I like about this one okay and then we save it uh, we want to save it we're going to save it to the same spot here save and you can see it shows up in there and then we we'll go to the next image uh, let's go back and do a car there so we got a car uh, create a rec box that's a nice car and since we don't want to do that we don't want to do it we want to change that to a car oh let's get rid of that go to this one so we got to get rid of that one so create a rec box it's car and then save it now as you can see we've saved it we're kind of done with this um, the this is a pretty nice tool I like this one and then uh, and this one here's the Here's the car. Here's the annotation. Car it shows the coordinates of it. Here's the one with the boat. Shows uh, the you know the height and the width. Person, 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 person. Uh, there should be a boat in here. Boat. So you know it, it does a good job. Um, that's about it. Um, so I'll, I'm going to put a link to this on um, to my GitHub repo and then to a video. So, you know, you guys can all do this yourself. So, uh, good luck with it.